Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's your boy Q sitting in the fender well of Betty White. It is day four. I missed a day. We went to the lake to play. So here I am back again to dig in to dropping down our dually. Um, a while back, I got blessed with the DJM uh, C-notch and flip kit. I got the flip kit installed, uh, the helper spring removed. The only thing I lack is the C-notch uh, shock extensions and then the installation of the new uh, Beltec shocks. Uh, Given props to the Dooley King for his advisement of making a stencil or template before you cut. It just makes sense. I was going to just put it up there and score it, but I know once I cut this, my C-notch is going to fit. So, and then the alignment is with this front hole. So right there is where we're going to be. So right now I'm going to mark some holes, drill some holes and cut some metal. I'll catch you up with our progress. So here we go, got the rear dialed in, I'll button down, I'm out of breath because I was running to get the jack stands out because my jacks aren't high enough to jack it, so this is kind of how sketchy I had to roll. But here we go, let's make sure everything's clear. Fire in the hole. Put this bone down somewhere. Not a very good. Here we go. Betty White coming down. Betty White coming down. Whoa. Uh oh. I'm on the jack. Hmm. I could just drop it. ladies and gentlemen, because my other jack has turned into poo. So now, I'm going to just leave it there so you don't see it when it comes down. But I'm going through some sketchtacular stuff over here in this background. Okay, here we go. Betty White down. Oh shit. Wow, that's pretty dope. Wow, that's really dope. But I'm still not all the way down.
Man, that's down. And I don't. I don't know, man. Let's see what we got going on under here. All right. Man, my axle is straight living in that C notch. Straight up. I'm not complaining about the, the low. I'm complaining about the noise. What do we got here? Well, it's just the truck, huh? Something's dinging. Oh man, my street scene lowered shocks are bottomed out. Huh, look. Look, look. Him, ding, ding. I need shocks now. That kindly sucks. Well, <clears throat> she's down. Now I gotta do the front. Good Lord, she got that Carolina lean. Man. That was good. Well, catch you up when I get the front end. So I was about to go for a shakedown run on the rear before I dropped the front. And I just went and walked around. And uh, for whatever reasons, the rear end sticks out this side substantially more. Um, so I need to trim... I need to trim this uh, fender real quick so I don't get any tire damage issues. So that's the little bit that I cut off. And man, it makes a world of difference. Got a little tape back there. There he is. I think I'm gonna take it for a shakedown run before I do the front. So I got the front dialed in. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. I actually didn't even have to take the drop the lower A arm, which was kind of cool. Uh, but I had to roll my fender just a touch. I'm not sure if I can get it, but right now it's like this before it was like that. So I heated this up with a heat gun and I came through with a soft blow. And you can see right here where the fender comes out straight, it came all the way across and it potentially was stuck into the tire I don't know what the clearance is like. I haven't lowered it yet, but I just wanted to I put the wheel up there and felt that that would have been an issue. So let's go ahead and get this wheel on here and drop it down and see what it'd be looking like. All right, here we go. About to go down. But this is just the passenger side, so it ain't gonna be true lay, but I wanted to record it anyway. I mean, I get it. You should have seen it before. It looked like it was a, with the Carolina lean. But with just the three in this front corner over here, just that three inches in the front, look at how much squat and tuck is in the back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, here you go. Betty White is on the ground. Well, not on the ground, but she's a lot lower than she was before. I think that would be considered slammed. I believe, 
I would like to see the front go down more to even out the back, but I think what I'll do is when I do the helper bags, I'll just air it up to even it out. Uh, this is the side that sticks out way further than the other one. Anyway, there she is. God is good. Thanks for checking me out. Hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. Tune in next time when we, I don't know. Peace. Boom, there you have it. We're home, all cleaned up. Well, I am, she's still dirty, but she's slammed. Now I have a dilemma. The front is too high. We cannot rock the Carolina lean. So it's two inches or should I bag it? Please somebody tell me. Thank you for checking me out. I hope that y'all have a blessed day. I'm Q, thanks for letting me share.